Welcome back to another UNC Tar Heels podcast here on TarHeelIllustrated.com. And if you're watching us on our rapidly growing YouTube channel, that is Tar Heel Illustrated. I'm THI publisher Andrew Jones. And joining me is a very special guest and a very big announcement here on THI, something that we are launching into starting today. Terry Comer from NIL Fanbox. Welcome to the THI podcast, my friend. Andrew, pleasure to be here. Thanks so much for having me today. Well, we, ha- we have uh, Terry on here. We can talk sports. We want Terry knows a lot about sports. He knows extensively about Carolina basketball history, as an example. But, Terry, we're, we're here to talk about a venture that you embarked on almost a year ago with the college sports landscape changing dramatically July 1st with NIL becoming a real thing. Talked about for years, debated for years, and now it's here. And we're still kind of feeling things out. I think a lot of people thought originally – that these athletes were going to get massive endorsement deals and they were going to be pitching Cadillacs and selling chicken and burgers and stuff like that. But it hasn't played out as much like that. And the business that you have, the concept that you have come up with is what I always thought NIL ultimately would be and should be. It says name, image, and licensing. And nothing speaks to name, image, and licensing more than signatures, gear worn by an athlete and photographs of an athlete that are signed for fans. Cause that is a personal connection that they can attain with those athletes. And that's exactly what you're doing. You uh, run NIL fan box. You in December uh, began a relationship with UNC basketball, something that will grow to the other sports uh, at Carolina, which you'll explain here in a few minutes. So tell everybody what it is that you do. And by the way, our partnership that we started today, THI and NIL Fanbox, you can click here on the link right here. You can go to Tar Heel Illustrated. Uh, dot com and see right there we have the promo code heels 22 you can be a member get you can purchase a membership to nil fan box and get all kinds of stuff from your favorite tar heel athletes but i want dave i want terry to go ahead and tell you what that's all about because it's in his wheelhouse and and the excitement that you uh, give off when you when you discuss this is something i think fans will enjoy so go ahead and take it away terry no, that's, that's wonderful, Andrew. You, you, you've you got the pitch down pretty well, my friend. <laughs> so, well, I did one I did one mental rehearsal when I was uh, walking the dog this morning, so that's good to go. <laughs> yeah, no, th- th- this is an exciting time for uh, college sports fans, college college athletes in the industry. You know, you, you hear so much about, um, you know, the uncertainty of NIL, and, and there's certain, you know, certain, you know, f- you know, factions of the fan base can say, hey, this is, this is ruining college football or this is ruining college basketball. And, and, and I took a different approach. I, you know, I thought that this was you know, an opportunity to really create a win, win, win across the board where not only are uh, players from North Carolina and other schools able to you know, profit off of their, their NIL, but how do we, how do we enhance the fan experience? Right. And uh, as a diehard fan myself of, of, of both college you know, basketball and football, I, I love memorabilia. Uh, I love to get, you know, signed autographs from players. I show up to fan days and, and sit out in the sun and it's painful. Uh, but, but, you know, typically as you just kind of unravel what memorabilia is, most, most memorabilia is, is auctioned and sold on eBay. Um, and if you ever gone on eBay, I'm always still concerned about the authenticity of things. And so, you know, 40% of memorabilia is actually fake. And so, you know, one thing I wanted to be able to solve through NIL fan box one is, to provide a level of, of trust in, in getting authentic uh, memorabilia. So that was kind of the first point. The second piece was, you know, how do we, how do we do NIL the right way? Um, you know, when, we, when, when, when July 1st came out, <clears throat> there were so many different things popping up and approaching players. I was reading all the, the articles and, and some families were spending, you know, 10, 15 hours a, a week figuring out how can I monetize uh, my son or daughter's value? And so it's taking away from academic time. It's taking away from training time. And so I wanted to create a concept where <clears throat> the student athletes could monetize their NIL uh, in, a, in a very short period of time and still allow them to be able to do the things that they're there to be a student athlete. Uh, and so in our, in our, in our concept, uh, we, you know, we, we spend a few hours with the student athletes uh, during our signing activation. But ultimately, uh, we wanted to provide the fans a simple a safe and a trusted way to join the NIL movement. You know, as, a, as an individual fan, how can you help your team 
win big? How can you help bring top talent back to Chapel Hill? And that's what NIL Fan Box, and particularly the Tar Heel Fan Box, is all about. So in uh, in December of last year, we partnered uh, with North Carolina basketball players to do the largest NIL activation uh, in team history uh, alongside the brand R group through group licensing. And this concept of group licensing uh, really hits on a, on a sensitive topic for me where it does two things. One, it promotes player equity so that all the players on the team are benefiting from the team's success and this concept of team chemistry. So it's not just you know, um, you know, the, the, the star athlete getting all of the, the compensation through NIL, it's, it's everyone uh, benefiting. And then secondarily, gender equity. It, it, it's huge. We saw this big disaster with the NCAA providing the women's athletes, uh, you know, what it was a year ago, you know, in, improper yeah. facilities, right? And so how do we make sure, uh, you know, women across, you know, soccer, basketball, track, and, and all these other sports are participating uh, at, at a fair level? And so in our, in our, in our, process, we never decouple men's and women's uh, sports. It's always, you know, men's and women's soccer. It's going to be, you know, baseball and softball in our activations. And so here's a first time in, in history where fans can now get uh, authentic autograph memorabilia from your favorite team, favorite players delivered right to your door, really just combining two things that people love, one subscription box services and their favorite college sports teams. Before we get into the fan boxes itself and a little bit more, explain to people some concerns that some might have with respect to compliance. This has been cleared through compliance at UNC. It's not you going over to Chapel Hill and waiting outside the Dean Dome and grabbing Caleb Love and say, hey, man, sign this a bunch of times. And then you go ahead and sell it to a bunch of people. There is a process that you have gone through, which has everything that you do is completely above board and is, is uh, cleared compliance at UNC and therefore the NCAA. Yeah, gone, gone are the days, or gone should be the days of, of Johnny Manziel being stuck in a hotel room, you know, signing you know ten thousand you know autographs for you know hundred bucks, right? <clears throat> um, you know, this is you know this is a great part about how we're approaching NIL. Uh, UNC compliance is, is first of all that they're absolutely on board with what we're doing, and they, and they love the concept, and they love it because it is the easiest and the simplest approach to name, image, and likeness. It is a autograph signature, and then we pay the players for every signature that they provide. Um, <clears throat> the, the great part about uh, our partnership with the Brand Art Group is they handle all of the group licensing. Uh, so Brand R has partnered with the University of North Carolina at a global level uh, where all of the student athletes can voluntarily opt into the group rights program. We then are partnered with Brand R. And so uh, when we activate at North Carolina, we actually pay brand R and then they pay all the players directly. So there's a, 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 a line of defense there uh, on compliance. And at our, at our activation back in December, there, there were compliance member, members uh, on site as we were doing the, uh, the activation, actually. Well, there's a video that will also run, the one that uh, you sent me with. Uh, in, you have clips of all the players signing stuff. You've got Brady Manning signing. Caleb Love with a big smile on his face, and which is always good to see. Uh, and we'll talk about that in a second. But in order to line that up, what did you have to go through? I know early December, you're in communication with Carolina, and Hubert Davis had some concerns. Fill everybody in on how that process went and how quickly you were able to go from opening the door, that line of communication, to actually writing, having a check go to Carolina basketball that directly went to the athletes. Yeah, yeah. Look, Andrew, I, I I wholeheartedly believe, and I think a lot of your members believe that UNC is a sleeping NIL giant. Um, you know, I think they, I think you guys have the largest fan base in the country, and so I was incredibly excited when I got a call from Brand R that uh, Coach Davis uh, was interested in in our concept. Um, <clears throat> Brand R had met with Coach Davis back in early December and shared what we were trying to do together. And he loved it. And, and it, was, it, it was as simple as, you know what, I would love for my players to have some, some money when they go home for Christmas break so that they can buy uh, presents for their family. It was that simple. Uh, and obviously it wasn't that simple for me when I got the call that, hey, um, <clears throat> you know, we want to try to pull this off and we have about three weeks to do it. You know, understanding I'm, I'm a newly minted entrepreneur. Uh, haven't raised any, you know, hadn't raised any capital at the time. Really, this was just kind of an idea. So, you know, there's logistics involved. We had to figure out 
you know, how to get posters, how to get prints. You know, you, you couldn't get a lot of, um, you know, you know, basketballs and footballs because you would need thousands of those shipped from, you know, wherever they got to come from and the yeah. supply chain logistics with the pandemic. And so, you know, most of the things we did were <clears throat> things that we could get printed very, very quickly. And you still had to get those designed and approved by compliance at, at North Carolina. So in a matter of three weeks, uh, we raised a couple hundred thousand bucks. <clears throat> we got uh, 10,000 items, you know, uh, designed, approved and printed. We had to secure uh, a site, which we, we ended up doing the graduate hotel uh, in Chapel Hill. Uh, we had to coordinate, you know, 31 student athletes all on the same day being at the same place. Uh, and, and I will say the students were on time. They showed up at <laughs> 9 a.m. And I think that is a, a signal of when someone is going to be paid uh, fairly for their services, they actually show up. And, and, and we had an amazing time together. There's a lot of energy. When you see that video, you'll see the kids. Uh, you know, we weren't forcing them to do anything. They had a ton of fun. We actually did. Um, we had competitions where certain groups were competing with one another uh, because it's a long time to sign something for for several hours. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the kids can do like 300 to 400 signatures in a, an hour. Uh, and so we were trying to have different competitions so that certain groups could uh, could have those bragging rights when uh, signing. <laughs> I think of the Seinfeld episode when Jerry signed a bunch of those checks and he couldn't couldn't use his hand for a couple of days. If you're doing it and you're shooting hands, I guess they did it in a period, but they didn't have a game for a few days. So they were able well, see, the, the, to recover. Thing, the, the women had a game the night before, but the game was canceled due to COVID. Ah. And the men were just about to fly out to, to Las Vegas. Las Vegas, yeah. And that was a crazy period as well. The, the, the craziest thing, Andrew, you, you just you imagine, you know, hey, it's just a signature. But these kids actually take pride of authorship. You know, they're not just putting some little random raggedy scribble, scribble on a piece of paper. There's some some players were signing every letter of their name. Some had their middle name in there. It's like, man, you're going to be here for seven hours if you got to sign all 1,000 of these signing that way. So we had to educate them and, and help them through that process a little bit too. Terry, to me, this is the essence of NIL. Uh, because I used to cover in my job for years, I used to cover, especially in football, they would have those fan days where you fans would show up at the stadium and the players would spread out little tables and they saw it for an hour and a half, two hours, take pictures and they got nothing out of it. It was, it was an obligation because it was a team related yeah. function. They would do it after practice and uh, you, the guys would just sit there and sign. Now to me that, you know, their signature, I'm a big, I used to be a big signature guy, not as much the older I've gotten, but I have a lot of them. I've got, a, I showed you, I got some Eddie Murray ones up here in my office and that I'll never part from. To me, they're yeah. personal and there, there is no value anybody could put on those. No one could ever pry those away from me. So to me, this is twofold. This is NIL. This is the essence of NIL. These kids should get paid for their signature if someone wants it. The other thing is the personal connection that a fan gets. If if a player is pitching chicken, there's no person. You could go buy chicken, but you're still not connected to that athlete. But when you buy a fan box and you get something every month, you're like, wow, Josh Downs, or wow, this is cool. This is a leaky black. That personalizes the experience that much more. And those are keepsakes those people will have forever. And, and, and what it does is it, it, it actually cult more cultivates the, the relationship they have with those kids in the program, even if they're not personally with them. They know that Leaky touched that. They know that Leaky signed that, and they got it in the mail every month. They're getting the fan box. Well, look, Andrew. I mean, that, that experience you, you shared earlier. I mean, that, that that truly is a miserable experience for both sides, where players are signing stuff and not getting paid, and then as you as a fan, you're sitting. If it's football, you're sitting out in the sun in yep. the middle of the summer. Um, maybe you get you know one thing or two things autographed. You know, your kids sitting out there. So you're out there for three hours waiting to get it signed. The other opportunity is, hey, you have to wait at the pregame. You know, maybe you get something signed, maybe you don't. You know, what if you live out of town? What if you can't make it to the games? Um, you know, this pre this creates the opportunity for you know everyone to now be able to kind of get that 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 keepsake and that that thing that they can provide to their kid. Uh, you know, this is a recurring membership uh, as well, and so you know th this is a trend where it, it builds and builds and builds onto itself every year. So as more fans opt in, there's an opportunity to a lot more sports. So your fan box becomes, um, you know, more diverse. And so you start to have things from, you know, the basketball team, the football team, the volleyball team, and it becomes a, a really true, true experience for memorabilia. Uh, and the one thing we haven't talked about, the other 
incredible opportunity with group rights is we also have the rights of several of the alumni players from uh, all of these schools. And so for North Carolina, uh, you know, if you want to have an autograph of a player donning UNC gear, you have to go through this program uh, to get uh, a Tyler Hansbro, to get an Anton Jameson, you know, <clears throat> to get a Lawrence Taylor. You know, if those guys decide to participate, and it's, it, it becomes a truly unique opportunity to be able to get access to, uh, to memorabilia in a, in a very, very um, easy way and, and a trusted way. What is the fan box? And if someone signs up and they, they I want to be in this fan, NIL fan box, I'm a Tar Heel guy, I want something every month. What can they get? What will they get for their membership? <clears throat> yeah, so we, we try to make this you know, very affordable. It's this concept of, of providing the everyday fan an opportunity to participate in NIL. And in doing so, uh, the numbers become incredible when you do the math. If you say, hey, you know, 20,000 fans paying $9.95 a month, you start to create a pretty significant war chest in the millions of dollars that uh, a significant meaningful portion go back to players. So in our model, uh, in the spirit of transparency, about 30% of the profits on memorabilia go back to the players. And so inside of that sandbox, uh, I actually have one I have one here. You can see it's a you know, pretty decent size um, <clears throat> uh, product. And so inside of that, you know, you'll have um, you know, posters, you'll have prints, um, you know, many footballs, many basketballs, uh, pendants. Uh, there'll be some, you know, UNC swag, you know, licensed, you know, things that we can also sign like mini helmets. Uh, and so anything you can imagine outside of a, uh, a, a regulation size basketball can fit in this box. Uh, and in, in some cases, we will have some of those special items that we would likely ship separately. But the goal is, I know you mentioned kind of getting this stuff monthly, uh, but we can't, you know, we can't pay the players monthly. We've got to pay these players all up front. And so the way we've organized uh, the fan box program is it's nine ninety five a month, uh, but it's paid annually so that we can pay out the players. And ultimately it becomes Christmas for adults. And once a year you receive your Tar Heel fan box. Uh, and so throughout the year, you'll also have opportunities to purchase limited edition exclusive items. So you get your standard uh, fan box each year for the 995. But as a, a Tar Heel fan box member, you are now one of 5,000 or 6,000, however many members there are, uh, you're able to now purchase exclusive items that we'll have. So for example, we may have you know, an item like this where we do get you know, the entire basketball team to sign off on a basketball and then maybe we, you know, we, we figure out what the market value of this is. Is it 199? Is it 299? Is it 99 bucks? And then there's only going to be 500 of these. Right. And so now you're able to then, um, you know, purchase one of these in, in the lottery as a, as a fan box member. And so it's, it's a pretty you know incredible opportunity to, to be able to, you know, not only support the players and the team, but also, you know, reach back into the history books and get some of the players that you didn't get, you know, the Mia Hams of the world that you, you didn't get before. So instead of going on uh, eBay, eBay or, or any of these other services that are selling stuff and not really knowing for sure what you're getting and all the money goes in that person's pocket, what you're doing here is you know what you're getting, you know, yeah. it's, you know, it's above board, you know, it's legitimate and each time you purchase something, when you have your membership or buy an additional item, when those are available, you're helping Carolina's NIL process. And I think a lot of fans have been concerned about that. A lot of UNC fans have expressed concern and say, well, Hubert's old school. He's not going to want to do this stuff. Or Carolina's way behind. He's not, they're they're going to they're going to fall even further behind SEC schools with this. This is an opportunity for fans to take mat those mat matter into their own hands. Absolutely, Andrew. And you also have to, you have, to, you have to understand about memorabilia, particularly in the college ranks, there's a very limited supply because you couldn't you couldn't have players wear you know uniforms and, and, and sign this stuff. You could get, you know, a Jerry Stackhouse, you know, signed autograph when he played for the 76ers, but fi try to find finding one when he was a Tar Heel. It, it, it's hard to do. Um, yeah. and, and one of those big issues is when you do individual NIL deals, you can't don any of the logos or IP of the university. Yeah. So that's the uniqueness of group licensing and what we do and, and, and having all of the players participate, you know, all of those players are able to put on and, and wear the, uh, the UNC uh, uniforms. And that's the unique nature of this. <clears throat> so you're helping the school, you're helping the players, and you're getting something out of it. So it's not just a pure donation, right? Um, you know, I always say, you know, if your team not performing well, 
and you're trying to you're trying to jumpstart the recruiting engine. You know, it takes time for those players to get in there. Um, it takes time for those players to start to learn the system. So, you know, those freshmen that you just signed up, you know, they, they may not start performing into their juniors and seniors. And so while you're waiting for that to happen, you can still be getting memorabilia, right? And, and so that's the, you know, that's the, the long-term value of, of this type of program. Whereas, hey, if I just write a check and, and send it over to some random uh, NIL thing and I'm trying to help recruiting, you know, it's a donation and, and may, you know, maybe it helps this year, maybe it helps five years from now, I don't know. Um, and so this is the value of kind of that in-between opportunity where you can now help your team win big, do something that's completely above board, um, that, the, that the university is behind and all the, the, the memorabilia has been authenticated. And, and you can also help yourself. So if a Carolina fan is watching this video, they read our article that we post today and or our tweets, we're going to put stuff all over the place out there. And they're like, man, I got to get on this. So what do they have to do next? Very simple. All you have to do is go to NIL Fanbox dot com backslash North Carolina and put in your code for heels 22 to get your discount. Uh, and not only would that, uh, you know, bring you know money back to Tar Heels Illustrated so they can continue to provide great content to you. You also are, are part of the founders club uh, so that we, we grandfather in your, your rate at 995 uh, for several years. And then you also get an extra 10% off your first fan box. So that's nilfanbox.com backslash North Carolina and put in your code HEELS22. You know, the thing that excited me right away when I found out about this and when you and I talked the other day, and I, I told a couple people on my staff, I was giving them sort of a snapshot of this to gauge their reaction. The thing that excited me big time is we have so many passionate people that are on our site, either the subscribers or even the people that are not subscribers that are still a part of the community. And I, I've had people ask me before, can you get something for me in a game? And as a sport, I've never gotten anything in a game. I've never asked for anything. I never will. Right. But they want it because they know if I were to get it, cause I'm there, they could trust it. They know it's, it's legitimate. Right. So the thing that really excites me about this is the fact that that's never going to be in question. And so they're always, He's going to be able to get stuff that they know came from that athlete and comes from the program. The other side of it is, is it's kind of cool that fans can have a bit of a say, so they can actually help in the NIL process and, and it makes them feel like they're even more a part of the program. You know, a lot of people can't go to the games, the Dean, right. the tickets are expensive. And a lot of the people, you have to be a Rams club member. You have to donate a lot of money just to compete for seats at a Carolina game. This is this way. A lot of people that are far away, they can't make it to games, so they're not gonna they're not gonna sit there and just write checks to the university. They don't know where the money's going. They have more control with this, and I think that's a really exciting thing for the fan. No, that's cool, Andrew. And one thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna be very transparent. And, and as a fan, you'll be able to see the the the, the Tar Heel War Chest ticker. You'll see how much mm -hmm. your contribution is helping as as fans start to band together uh, each year. We'll see this thing continue to grow. Uh, and that's the you know a unique part about this this whole program. Um, and I, I'm excited to be a part of it. Uh, super excited to have passionate Tar Heel fans uh, involved, and and uh, we're you know we're we're ready to get started and, and, and building this thing together and bringing you know top talent back to Chapel Hill. Terry Comer from NIL Fanbox. It is an absolute pleasure to be joined to have joined forces with you. It's an honor to have joined forces with you. I love the concept and I, and I love your passion for it. And I think a lot of Carolina fans will as well. So if you guys want to get involved and you want to have a foot in the pond, even more than ever before at Carolina athletics, NIL fan box is the way to go. Remember heels 22. That's the promo code. Get a bunch of discounts, a bunch of great rates and you help THI, but you also help the athletes and you help yourself because you are more a part of something that means so much. Terry, I, I jokingly said to you the other day, and it's only a half joke, the church of Carolina basketball. It's a real thing. So basically we're passing, we're passing around the 10 right now, but you, but the 10 actually, you know, more of what it's going to do for you. So uh, I think that's a great concept. Terry, thank you so much. Thank you for having me, Andrew. And welcome aboard to THI as well, my friend. I'm happy to be here. Can't, can't wait to, uh, to engage with the fans on, on, the, on, the, on the message board as well. I'm here to uh, answer any questions uh, that the folks will have. Remember, click the link. It's in the description box on the, uh, here on, on YouTube. It's on our site, tarheelillustrate.com. We've tweeted it out. And remember, HEELS22 is the promo code. He's Terry. I'm AJ. We appreciate you stopping by. Go Heels.